What's up, people? We are back with episode two, season two of The Bear. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing, there's nothing I need to say about this show that I haven't continuously said every episode because every episode of this show is a goddamn gold mine. It is beautiful. It is amazing. It is executed to perfection in every single part across the board. Amazing show. Amazing show. And since the last episode I watched, and now this one, this show has like clean sweeped the award shows. Both Jeremy White Allen and I forget her name, and I forget his name, uh, who plays Sydney and who plays uh, Cuzzo, who plays Rich. Um, both of them, uh, she won a Golden Globe as well, and he won uh, an Emmy, I believe. Again, Jeremy White Allen also won an Emmy, and the actress who plays Sydney also won an Emmy. Uh, an Emmy, and the show won Golden Globe at, for best comedy series, uh, and then it also won an Emmy for best comedy. Se- like I mean, the whole show, clean sweeping in everything. You know, I mean, clean sweeping in everything. I think it won ten Emmys. I mean, rightfully so, deserved. Show is amazing. I love this show with all my heart. Um, it's a fantastic show, and I can't wait to watch this next episode. In case you don't know, full length reactions and early access on Patreon. And without further ado, let's watch this next episode. Let's not talk about it. Actually, I, I don't want to. Twelve talk weeks to open. You mentioned it. You sure you don't want to talk about it? Yeah, Three that's months, like a baby. Lot, you know? It's hard for your dad to be supportive because he doesn't understand that this job doesn't pay much. It doesn't amount to anything, and uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You know. Uh, hey, how are we doing, chefs? Man. Not good. Cool. Good. <laughs> Are we still good to jam on menu later? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yo, come on, fridge guy. Yo. Wait. I'll call him back. Bruh. Yeah. You feeling okay, Nat? By the way, you look a little pale. Is it the Naperville nickel? I'm fine. Just, uh, sometimes I look like February. Sure. <laughs> That's so real. Your Go. Way. No, it's not my fucking way. There's not sides. There's one way. It's the fucking right way. Watch this. <laughs> You just you wow. called mom. <laughs> you called yes. mom. <laughs> okay, listen. I'm trying to head up this operation. I'm trying to assert <laughs> myself. Okay. I don't know what they teach you about leadership at the bank, but in this oh kind of a situation, God. what you need is an alpha, and that is not back. They can smell his pheromones. They are weak as shit. They- yeah. If there's an alpha out of these four, it's, it's definitely Shug. It's definitely Shug. If we're being honest. Rishi, you are you are not the alpha, brother. You didn't want to do it wrong. You're shitty. I didn't want to do it wrong. You did call mom though. Thank you, Marcus. Oh my yeah, God. but you were wrong. What you were, bro? This show is so funny. Like the dialogue of this show is so good, okay, man. So I tell you, so three. damn What's good. Right, not left. Go left. Up. My number is seven seven three five 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 zero nine zero one. Just open it. Okay, hold on. Fuck. Bro, what? You don't have What's bolt cutters? Why would you grab that of all things? Was that Mikey's locker? There was just a hat in it. <laughs> See. What? <laughs> asshole. What? I'm not an asshole. Hey, I'm not an asshole. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. <laughs> That is not what I thought would be inside his oven, but all right. I ask you something and you can tell me to fuck off if you want. I doubt I'm gonna tell you to fuck off. Uh-uh. When you got that call, the three star call. Fuck off. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the first 10 seconds felt like a sort of panic because I knew I just had to keep him. I had to retain him. Your brain does this weird thing where it just bypasses any sense of joy. It just like attaches itself to dread. Can't imagine that kind of stress, bro. Three Michelin star restaurant. That'd be tough. You can see just fine from where you are. Okay. It's my ladder. <laughs> These guys are so stupid, man. I love them. Oh my god. Such a fucking show off. Think you're so fucking cool. That's so funny. Call mom. See what happens. Mom. See what happens when you call. Mom, are you allowed? See what happens when you call. I'll get loud. Are they gonna kiss? Yes! <laughs> Welcome, everyone. You should have Which is funny because they did actually kiss when they were accepting their. What was it, Emmy? I think. They kissed for like 20 seconds straight. That was very funny. 
That's no, what. no, 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 no. It's um, I'm sorry. In sign, uh, two of my old chefs used to do it. Oh, that's cute. Oh, they were... oh my what guy. is happening? I just never wanted to be in this place at all. And then my other brother started running the place, and now I'm gonna be here all the time. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> Why the bathroom of all places? I haven't even told anyone I'm pregnant. Damn. Okay. The photo should have uploaded. That's why she's been feeling but down and looking pale. Oh my. All right, these ceilings, they're practically styrofoam. Where we'd have mold, they would collapse when I go like this. Oh man. <laughs> Sometimes it just writes itself, you know? Oh, that's so funny. I'm going to. I like that. Eep staying behind, work on his craft. I love it. She looks inside and she says, Oh, uh -huh. it's definitely the radiator. <laughs> and I was like, uh, Yeah. <laughs> Changes that damn tire in 10 seconds. Damn. Then gets in the car and looks at me smiling. <laughs> <laughs> that's I cute. That's so cute. Is her mom dead? Oh man. Oh, they're so cute, dude. That's sad. What a sweet story. What a sweet scene. Carm? Who this? Who is this? An ex? So how's your life been, Brazado? I had no idea. How about you? I have no idea. Okay. There's some some up. tension there. Yes, we do. Kind of interested in that. It's I think it's an fault. X. It's Looks like one. Learned a lot of lessons. I'm still learning, which is actually a good thing. And also, I'm not alone. Like in your house, I have a partner. And you trust him. Yes. I don't know. I just realized I'm like older than her now, you know? Wow. That was a very tense conversation. I mean, you can clearly tell her dad cares a lot about her, and that's why he's worried. But, you know, I get that. I get both sides, the dad and Sydney. I think we've all been in Sydney's situation or position. And we've all been in the dad's position as well. You know, I get it. That's tough, man. You're a doctor now. It's also not a big help I to just constantly do that, you know? I'm a chef. But what did you tell him? I told him, don't, don't do that. <laughs> that sounds right, I right? I think it's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I should really, um, I should really listen to myself. <laughs> Why, what are you doing? That's funny. Bet you one million dollars that you don't know the name. Prepare to be out of a million dollars, dude. How could you remember the name? Because you're the bear and I remember you. Oh, that's cute, man. Alright, bro, don't set me up like this, though, show. Don't set me up with this much happiness and break my heart later, is all I'm gonna ask. Because this looks fantastic between these two. This looks fantastic. Just like, how am I getting my money now? You know what I mean? For sure. Mm -hmm. This looks um, great. Just don't break my heart. You Venmo a million dollars? <laughs> I feel like that would be really shady. Why don't you just wire it to be safe? Deal. Yeah, no, that's, that's clean. Yeah, that's clean. I'll just uh, get your contact information. <laughs> yeah. 773-09-09-02. Yep. Was he thinking about giving a fake number there? Okay. Is that why it took so long to figure that out? Was he thinking about that, like whether or not he deserved to have this? I hope that's not what he was thinking, and that's his actual number. Because this looks fantastic! Oh, that was so sweet! You gonna end like that on me, bruh? Damn! That was so cute. All right, all right. I'm feeling good about that. I'm feeling good about that. Again, another great episode. I mean, what, what more can you ask for from this show? I mean, I really can never be surprised that every episode is amazing because uh, this show has literally not taken a single misstep. So I'm gonna stop expecting anything less than perfection from this show because that's all I get is perfection from this show. Uh, we got quite a few developments. I really liked Eve and, uh, and Tina at culinary school. Uh, good job for Eve for, uh, you know, pushing through. I respect that a lot. You know, he's clearly nervous, has a lot of anxiety between uh, 
what's going on being at culinary school surrounded by all these people who know what they're doing where I guess he's probably someone who just learned how to be a chef from you know family and having to cook and stuff like that so I'm, I'm glad to see him taking it taking taking it in stride and then putting in work after hours as well to try and get better because he clearly sees like Tina is much better at chopping up the stuff and he is not but he's putting in the extra hours you know putting in the extra effort to try and get there which I respect a lot uh, I mean Claire and Carmi though TBD so far but like that's looking uh, that's looking good man I mean I, I I really hope some something like that happens for Carmi I really hope they're good together if that's ends up if that's what happens but you know because Carmi could just really use some good stuff happening in his life man I mean besides obviously everything that's happening now because it's good but his life is very stressful and he has been in a dark place this entire show and I think he could really use something light like that right now and claire looks like she could be it and they looked real good together man they uh they talked together nicely they had good chemistry i'd love to see the backstory clearly they knew each other when they were kids i don't know if they ever had a thing maybe they did maybe they didn't who's to say but uh you can clearly feel the chemistry between the two you can feel the affection between the two clearly they haven't talked to each other in a long time but Carmi knows that she went on to be a doctor, so I imagine she went to med school. He went to culinary school and to go do his thing in New York, so they probably just kind of drifted apart. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's any bla uh, bad blood between the two, so that keeps me happy, that keeps me hopeful. But um, that whole scene between them, that was very cute. I like that. I really hope it stays that way. Um, but knowing the show, I don't know, it could be horrible. Could be horrible, who's to say? I don't know. Uh, seeing Sydney's dad, and that whole conversation between them. I mean, at first it was really sweet, really beautiful. Then it got kind of tense. Uh, you know, I can really feel both sides on that. And I really feel for Sydney. I get it, you know, and especially with someone who's trying to do things like that. And Sydney is clearly trying to put her foot in the right direction, got something going on. It is getting better. Clearly, you know, focused on her goal, oriented in that respect. And, you know, having someone who just constantly reminds you about how dangerous it is or like, you know, how not concrete of a plan it is it's like you don't think sydney knows that you know what i mean like i understand her dad is worried and just wants her to be successful wants her to be solid wants her to have you know money coming in have a solid foundation for her life i get that but like being someone in sydney's shoes i i can totally understand like how much that weighs down an individual who is trying to work towards their goal having someone just constantly remind them that you know you'll probably fail, it's very hard, it's very dangerous, you have no plan, there's no backup plan, it's like, my guy, like, you don't think Sydney knows that? Of course she knows that, but like, what does focusing on that help her right now? She needs to stay focused on her task of trying to make the bear successful, opening it, getting a star, whatever it might be, focus on that. She doesn't need to sit there and focus about all the things that could go wrong. So like, I understand the dad's coming from a place of love and worrying for his daughter, but like, it really doesn't help like at all you know what i mean but i get i get her dad's concern but um the the scene of them talking about her mom i didn't know her mom died especially the way carmy was saying it and the way he said it to sydney the way sydney responded you wouldn't have been able to tell that her mom died because carmy was like is your mom cool and she's like yeah and when i thought that i thought it was like you know oh is her mom not cool but she just said that because she didn't want to be like my mom's actually dead she just wanted to say, you know, you know, just keep the conversation as it was going. There was no need to bring it up, let's say. Um, but yeah, that whole scene of them together was really nice. It was really nice. Uh, yeah, and taking it in like that when she's like, you know, I'm now older than my mom was, which is, uh, that's a tough realization. That's hard, man. That's hard. But it's, uh, I love this show. I love the fact that, you know, the real thing about this show is just watching these characters go through life, go through changes gets to see their wants and and their dislikes and their likes and their you know their goals their aspirations and you just get to see these characters grow like that really is what this show is about we get to see richie grow we get to see sugar grow we get to see carmy grow sydney marcus tina eve like we just get to see these individuals grow as people and even from this point to the first episode of season one right like not necessarily a crazy amount of time has passed since that first episode but these characters have been through a lot and they are all very different than what they started out as, you know? So like, I love that. This show just has so much growth 
for the characters and that's really the main focus of this show and that's probably why it's so good um but yeah amazing episode can't wait to watch the next one leave a like leave a comment patreon full length reaction and early access all that i'll catch you later peace